Hi, I'm Saul from the Home Depot community, and today we're going to make a vertical garden. It's a great project where the green thumb and the tool person in you comes together to make something you would not find in any other old garden. There are several steps in this project, so you might want to watch this video once through and then use it as a reference as you build your garden. If you're good with measurements in a saw, you can create any size of vertical garden you want. We're going to show you how to make one that's 37 by 24 and a half inches. Here's what you'll need. Four pieces of 1x4 white wood or pressure treated wood. Two cut 24 and a half inches long and two cut at 37 inches. Four pieces of 1x6 white wood or pressure treated wood. Two cut 32 inches long and two cut at 18 inches. Four pieces of 1x2 white wood. Two cut at 32 inches, one at 20 and 3 fourths inches, and one at 15 inches. And finally, a piece of quarter inch plywood sheeting measuring 32 by 19 and a half inches. That's a lot of numbers to throw at you, but it's important to get the right measurements. Now, to assemble the bed. Take the two 32 inch lengths of wood and measure down from the top by 14 inches and up from the bottom by three and a half. Place a mark at each location. Now take your three 18 inch boards, one goes at the very top, one in the middle at the 14 inch mark, and one at the bottom at the three and a half mark. Use a drill and one and a half inch exterior wood screws to join the top and bottom boards together, but hold off on the middle board for now. Then take the piece of plywood and secure it to the back of the bed. Now that the frame's assembled, we'll make some room for our irrigation system. Using a one inch spade bit, drill two holes in the top of the frame. Take the middle support we didn't screw in and slide it up flush to the top of the board. Use a clamp to secure it to the top of the frame and drill only one matching hole into it. With the corresponding hole drilled, you can move this board back to the 14 inch mark and screw it in as you did the others. With your bed mostly finished, now is a good time to install an optional French cleat if you want to hang your garden on a wall. To do this, get an extra piece of 1x4 white wood about 12 inches long and screw it into the interior of the bed at the top and bottom of the frame. Then, on the outside, screw your French cleat into these supporting pieces. Remember, this is optional. There are many other ways to hang your garden, and the garden we're building is designed to stand upright on the ground, if you like. Attach the 1x2 pieces of white wood around the frame. These will give extra surface area to support the frame, which we'll attach later on. Screw the 32-inch long boards along the long sides, the 20 and 3 fourths inch board on the top, and the 15-inch one along the bottom, keeping them all flush with the front of the bed. Now we're ready to line the bed with plastic sheeting. Do this to prevent wood rot and warping. Line each compartment separately and leave enough slack for the soil. Staple the plastic in place and cut away the excess. Now with the bed assembled, let's move on to the irrigation system. Start by using a razor to make an X-shaped incision in the plastic liner in the holes we drilled earlier. Put one piece of 19 inch long PVC pipe through the top and center section holes and one piece of 8 inch long PVC pipe through the second hole. Attach caps to the ends of each pipe, then glue the reducing bushing to the opposite end where you'll be watering. With a small drill bit, place drip holes along each pipe. Put one as close to the bottom as you can to reduce standing water. On the 19 inch pipe, you only need to drill holes in the second compartment. Now we're ready to get a little dirty. Fill both compartments with soil, shaking the box occasionally to let it settle. With the soil in place, stretch a piece of black ground cover or shade cloth across the frame and staple it into place. Remember those 1x4 pieces of wood from earlier? It's time to use them as your frame. If you want them painted, do this beforehand. And if you want to miter the corners, be sure your measurements are accurate. Drill the frame into the 1x2s we fixed around the exterior early on. With your frame in place, you can accurately measure the height and width you'll need for the supporting lattice work. Cut accordingly. Paint it if you like. Then attach it to the inner lip of the bed with one inch wood screws. Take a razor and cut an X in each opening of the lattice work so you can begin planting your flowers. Then start coloring things up. Remember, flowers with shorter stems will look nicer since there's less weight to pull them down. You'll have to keep your vertical garden horizontal for at least three weeks to let the soil settle and the roots take hold. After the three weeks have passed, hang your garden to the wall with the French cleat or stand it upright on the ground. Then step back and let the compliments start flowing in. If you enjoyed this project and you're ready to take on a few others, be sure to visit homedepot.com slash garden center for more great project how-to ideas. Sign up for the Garden Club at the same address. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot.